the commissar study uh, is a prospective study with the duration of two years. Uh, in this trial, we are comparing four different treatment strategies based on different combinations of insulin delivery and uh, monitoring uh, systems. Uh, in this trial, uh, we are showing that uh, uh, there was no significant improvement in patients with uh, uh, MDI and SMBG alone. Uh, patients with insulin pumps and uh, uh, self-monitoring of blood glucose uh, did slightly better. However, this improvement is still oscillating around the border of statistical significance. And in comparison with two SMBG groups, uh, the group of patients with MDI and real-time CGM had markedly improved uh, their A1Cs. And uh, the same was true also for patients with uh, insulin pumps and uh, real-time CGM. Uh, uh, this uh, study are clearly showing us that people with real-time CGM are, are able to improve and keep their improvement throughout two years, which is uh, really important and it is not always reality for different kind of treatments for different type of uh, diabetes. The second important thing is uh, that uh, there was a huge gap between uh, patients with real-time CGM and MDI and uh, the group of patients with insulin pumps alone, just with self-monitoring of blood uh, glucose. And the third is that it is not so important how insulin is uh, injected, but what is more important is how patients monitor their glucose. One of the reasons why we decided to design commissar study uh, was lack of reimbursement of real-time CGM in the Czech Republic. Uh, and after we published uh, one-year data, we were able to succeed uh, during these negotiations with our payers. So after we published one-year data, one-year follow-up in this trial, uh, we significantly improved reimbursement for real-time CGM in patients with uh, type 1 diabetes. This is pretty important impact of uh, uh, this trial for uh, Czech population, for patients in the Czech Republic. Uh, well, uh, currently health insurance companies are willing to pay for approximately 40 sensors uh, per year and per patient with type 1 diabetes. They have to have some criteria for reimbursement, but they are pretty wide. So I would say that almost everyone uh, in the Czech Republic with type 1 diabetes, of course, uh, can have reimbursement for real-time CGM. I'm going to maybe speculate about, uh, about the future of real-time CGM and MDI. Uh, it's going to be maybe more interesting because uh, we have in a closed-loop world currently and to, uh, we're going to have, let's say, hybrid closed-loop system in the close future. Uh, so we are moving towards artificial pancreas. However, I still believe that this little bit basic kind of treatment has a future uh, because we're gonna have smart insulins and we're gonna have a smart insulin pens and these sort of things and we should not forget that there is important limitation of uh, closed-loop systems and this is cannula of uh, insulin pumps so I'm pretty sure that a lot of people will not willing to wear it Maybe it's surprising, but I think that uh, the future will look like this. <laughs> what was interesting for me during today's post presentation was a uh, presentation uh, dealing with uh, possible relationship of cancer and uh, diabetes. Uh, I also saw a presentation with uh, pancreatic cancer uh, and new markers which can distinguish this uh, terrible disease from, from diabetes, from chronic pancreatitis and so on. And this might be maybe important for earlier diagnosis of uh, this devastating disease.